no homo, but I wasn't gonna lose Cause I wasn't gonna suck dick for no views You see me if you see me, if not then fuck it I had to get a hold of myself, no bucket No trusting, no loving, I'm straight hustling Had to explode on tracks, no muzzler Hey, what the fuck is up YouTube, Adam here, coming to you guys with some more Madden 15 Connected Franchise on the PlayStation 4 with the Baltimore Ravens, and this is preseason week 2. Now, like I said, for the rest of the preseason, and for the rest of the season as we're playing CPUs, I will be on offense forcing the ball to Aaron Brown all throughout the season last year I worked on CJ Mosley everything was CJ Mosley I game prepped him and you know on defense not much I could do with him other than user him but I felt like he was good on his own so I, I used it other people on defense but he was my main my main focus point um last year this year, I'm I'm focusing on my wide receiver. C.J. Mosley is like a 95 overall now. You know, he's a monster. There's other people I should be working on on defense, like, you know, um, trying to get um, McPhee better or Courtney Upshaw. Courtney Upshaw, this is his last year with us, you know, and we're trying to re-sign him right now. Hopefully, we can re-sign him, but yeah. So, this year, I wanted to work on offense. I wanted to get a wide receiver to be Dominant. I, I wanted a dominant wide receiver. You know, so we're working on Aaron Brown. I know we got Marlon Brown. He's six foot five. I want to start working on him also. I know we've been had Torrey Smith, and Torrey Smith is a monster. You know, very fast. But Aaron Brown, man. Something about him. Something about him. So he's only six foot one. Only six foot one. But he has that superstar development with 96 speed. I just want to make him a monster, man. I really do. So you guys will see me forcing him the ball as much as humanly possible. Just, just squeezing it in there as he trips and falls because it is raining. And then gets up. And then we still throw him the ball and he gets the catch with that 96 speed. Just losing the defender, man. Aaron Brown is a monster, and like I said, all season long, when I'm playing CPU, you guys will see me force him the ball a whole lot. When I'm playing users, obviously people watch my streams, they've heard me talk about Aaron Brown for so long, they know what I want to do, so I won't be forcing him the ball. I obviously, I'll try and get him the ball, but... I definitely won't be forcing him the ball. CJ Mosley gets an interception. He's just such a beast. I'll be trying to spread it around, you know, and just get a lot of other people XP and stuff like that because they already know where I, like I said, they already know where I want to go with the ball. So they're going to be keying in every user that I play. They'll be keying in on Aaron Brown, even though he is becoming a beast. But yeah, they'll, they'll, they'll know who I want to throw to. I mean, unless he, they're one-on-one -on -one deep and I feel like they could burn the safety. I mean, burn the corner and they're one-on-one -on -one because a lot of people like to run cover three all day and stuff like that. And some people like to press and whatever. But other than that, I'm not forcing Aaron Brown the ball when I'm playing um, users. So like I said, he's six foot one, 96 speed. And right now, we're working on his route running. We're trying to get his route running to be monstrous obviously we want to get it to 99 before we start working on anything else and that's exactly what we're doing Aaron Brown man um when we game prep him the highest points you can get for a wide receiver when you game prep him when you do the eight hour game prep for wide receivers uh you can get I think it's 1600 XP Aaron Brown when I game prep him he gets a high 1300 or 1500 XP every single time so it's not gonna be hard to get xp with him man he's just he's just a beast and then the fact that he's a rookie his stats like like his season goals and what he needs to get are lower because he is a rookie you know and he's just his first year so oh man i just i really am enjoying building him up and making him a beast and we we have i can say right now we have beast wide receivers we have two starting our two starting wide receivers are Torrey Smith and Aaron Brown 
Torrey Smith, six foot with 95 speed. Aaron Brown, six foot one, 96 speed. And then our slot receiver is six foot five, Marlon Brown. Yeah, that's beast. With Dennis Pitta still at tight end, he's, he's 30 years old, but he's six foot four at tight end. And our backup tight end that I want to start making a beast, man, I really want to start um, implementing him in our offense is Gilmore, and he is six foot six. I definitely want to start upgrading him and making him better, but it's hard to do that. I like I don't want to bench Dennis Pitta because Dennis Pitta one, he's still on the contract. And two, Dennis Pitta has one of the highest, if not the highest, rating at tight end for route running. Cornerbacks have a hard time sticking with him. Cornerbacks, let alone a safety or a linebacker. Like, oh my god, he just shreds them. I really don't want to bench him because, I mean, this is his last year. Um, I think it's his last year, but I really don't want to bench him just because I want to start upgrading someone else as of right now. You know, he's still a viable threat. And he's, he's just he's just a really be really is a beast. I think he has like nearly 90 route running as a tight end. That's crazy because you know nothing but um, safeties and linebackers for the most part guard him. You know so that's crazy to have that kind of route running. You know so I, Aaron Brown man he's he's a beast. We ha definitely have some um, weapons on offense. We still got we still got what's his name. Lorenzo Talaferro and we still got Bernard Pierce both of them have been um well Bernard Pierce's year was coming up and we definitely re-signed him you know so we're all good at running back we have two running backs that are what 23 24 years old and both superstar development just making it happen man those guys are beast we're not worried our offense is our offensive line is set everybody we basically got everybody back except for Zuda so I'm not really worried and as you guys see we we had our way with the Atlanta Falcons, which was a CPU. Um, not a CPU. Yeah, they were a CPU team. I'm bugging. CPU team, so it was relatively easy to destroy them and get Aaron Brown a lot of catches and a lot of yards and stuff like that. And that's exactly what we tried to do. We're going to be forcing him the ball, as I said before. So I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. We're already in Season 2, and I'm excited, man. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to leave a like and a comment. This has been Adam, and I'm out of here.